Programmers, beautiful creatures. They stay all day at the desk and code games, apps and websites for us. Sometimes they also get angry and start talking words that a simple human like us can't understand but that's okay, we forgive them. The most common thing that makes them angry is a bug. No, not a bug on the table or in their coffee, but a bug in their code. A bug, such a simple and beautiful word. Little do people know that the first bug was indeed a bug. Or more specifically a moth. In 1947 it got stuck between relay contacts in the Mark II computer and crashed it. And so the word bug was introduced in the life of programmers. Okay, back to our business now. When coding, the probability of you making mistakes is pretty high. And each of these mistakes can introduce a bug that prevents the entire program to start, or even worse it will stay silent and start crashing things after the program is released. So what does a programmer do when there is a bug in the code? Of course, cursing and hitting the table is the first thing to do. Next, the poor guy will try to find the bug. And finding the bug in the code is pretty difficult because you can't see it like you see a bug on the table. Most often you have to run the program multiple times, change the inputs, modify the code and test again, then pray, and in the end call a friend, if you have one, of course, to have a look at your code. But calling someone multiple times and asking them to check your well-written code will result of course in people avoiding you, changing their direction when you approach them in a corridor or fastly moving away from the water cooler. That's why someone came with this bright idea. Let's explain the code to a rubber duck line by line. It can't run away. It's always there for you. And most importantly, a lot of programmers notice that while you explain your code to someone else, usually you discover the solution yourself. Why does it work? Well, when explaining your code to someone, person or rubber duck, it doesn't matter, you usually tell them what the code is supposed to do, and what your well-written code is actually doing. Just like telling someone that the airplane you designed is supposed to fly in the skies while it swims underwater. As you see, it's pretty simple to detect what's not working well and to correct it. And this works for other sciences also. Next time you can't understand a math problem, try explaining it to someone else, your cat for example. When teaching something to someone, you are forced to evaluate the subject from different perspectives. This can provide a deeper understanding, and even help you solve your problem. I heard students back in high school that were doing this with their parents and in the end, they managed to solve the math problems on their own. Poor parents. And that's all folks. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe so you stay updated with the stuff I'm releasing. See you next time.